Uh, my name is Jabria Kwashi. I'm, I'm a mother. Um, right now, I reside in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm originally from Baltimore, Maryland. And you know, my passion are kids because I have kids and I want them to grow up in a world, you know, that's fit for kids to be in. My experience with the criminal justice system was, you know, that it had a lot of faults as far as them reaching out to children, you know, and youth trying to see what was wrong initially with youth, the rehabilitation process, and um, the fact that at 17, 18, you know, at 18, you're, you're a legally adult, but at 17, you're not, but you can still be charged as an adult at 17, was just, you know, sickening because, at, you know, you're impulsive during that age. I feel like the standards that the juvenile justice system has set, they, they failed because they haven't, how I'm, I'm gonna say this, they haven't, they haven't done, I, I feel like they haven't done their research, you know, as far as they should have. Because if you have a 17-year-old child and they're impulsive, or 16 or 15 and they're impulsive and you're incarcerating them and charging them as adults, like, that's just, it's crazy. That's my strong belief that we, we need to change. You know, every, everything needs change, you know, as far as our judicial system, not just for the kids, but for the adults, but for the youth, we definitely need change because, you know, if you're 13 and you're in prison, you're, you're not, you know, that's stunting your growth. At 13, you're supposed to be, you know, out running around, but you're being locked in a cage. You know, whatever you did, yeah, you did it. You know what I'm saying? You need to pay for what you did, but it, it shouldn't be that way. I mean, if you're black, you have a target on you. You know, you're a different race. Cause you know, when you come to a, a different, a different country or you come, you know, in an environment, where it might not be somebody that's like you, you know, you, you get treated differently. So, you know, that can impact anybody and get in trouble, because you might just want to fit in. But, you know, as far as the juvenile justice system and ethnicity, I feel like they do, you know, they target certain individuals, you know, because I've seen juveniles go to jail for stuff they didn't do. They were just being profiled at those young ages. Everything's based on impulse. Everything's based on influence. You're not fully developed mind-wise, you know, for you to, for anybody to just make a, a label on your life. But you know, cause when I went in front of the judge, the judge told me I was a minute to society. For a 14 year old, that's very hurtful. And basically when, when somebody calls you a minute to society, in your mind, cause I was 14, so in my mind I was like, okay, well, and I was already having a tough time, and I was already feeling like, you know, I needed to prove myself, because I wasn't comfortable with myself because I was so young, you know. So at that time, I'm just like, well, this is what she said I am. If this is what I'm going to be, I'm going to act like that. So, you know, it's just, at that time, somebody could have stepped in and did the rehabilitation that was needed. Like, you know, you are somebody. You're not a minute society. I had to learn that over time. I had to get older and make a lot of mistakes that could have been reversed at the time if somebody would have stepped up and said, you know, what's going on with you? What do we need to do to get you back on a positive track? So, you know, the most important thing is rehabilitation and, and reform is needed in our juvenile justice system.